Hi, welcome to the MacCenter.com. Um, I want to take you through all the Max courses that we are offering for the A level exams. So, school would have started, college would have started. Um, I hope that uh, you're working hard. And uh, I want to take you through my website and tell you about all the courses that we offer. The level will be A level. So, uh, we will be talking about the CIE Cambridge Maths exam. We'll be talking about the CIE for the maths exam, CIE is Cambridge International Exams and then we we'll also talk about the MXL exams which uh, we have on our website as well as uh, we also talk about the IMB HL exam okay? so basically we're going to talk about uh, the maths courses that are available uh, that you can sign up for and uh, you will get me as your instructor and let's start with the CIE exams. The Cambridge exams, let's talk about maths. Okay? Now, the subject code is 9709. 9709. So what do we have on the mathcenter.com website? We have got Pure Maths Paper 1, Pure Maths Paper 3, Statistics Paper 6, Statistics Paper 7, Mechanics Paper 4, Mechanics Paper 5. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they are, these are the 6 main courses uh, that we have put up on the Math Center, Math Center website. Okay? Good. Now, just to tell you a little bit about these courses, whether it's the Pyramid Paper 1 or the uh, Pyramid Paper 3 or any of these papers, what do we have on our website? We have complete PDF documents, downloadable PDF documents. Okay, that's one. Two, you will have complete video lectures on all the topics. Let's say uh, we talk about P3. So, if you sign up for P3, what will you get? Uh, you will get a complete set of downloadable uh, PDF documents which covers the entire syllabus okay, by topic okay, you get all the notes by topic and uh, you also get complete video lectures what I've done is I've talked about all the ideas in my videos uh, using examples and so on so the idea was to enhance the learning process so whether it is V1 or whether it's V3, or whether it's M1 or M2, uh, I use uh, that basic idea that means to get you to learn as much as possible with me giving you the uh, direction and the instruction. Okay, so to get maximum benefit, I would strongly recommend that you download, let's say you are doing, uh, for example, if you are talking about the P3 course, okay, your max paper 3. Uh, download the uh, documents, let's say for a chapter on vectors. So go to vectors, uh, download all the PDF documents, keep it beside you, listen to my lecture, follow my lecture carefully, yeah? and make some notes. And then, what's the next most important thing? Once you've understood the ideas, do all the exercises. Do all the exercises, get as much practice from past year questions, and the most important thing, you have access to me. Let's say you run into some trouble. You went through a question and you didn't know, uh, you couldn't follow the solution or you're not able to figure out how to proceed with the question. What do you do? You email me. Okay? You email me. Now, when you email me, I will come back to you within 48 hours. I usually come back within 24 hours. But, you know, in case I'm tied up somewhere, uh, I should come back to you within 48 hours. I will tell you exactly what's going on and uh, you'll be fine. So if you, have, uh, uh, if you have a phone, you can even WhatsApp me a question. I will also respond in the same manner. 
Okay, so what's the advantage here? I am with you as you go along in your uh, in, as you go along and study the various topics. So just be in touch with me if you run into some trouble and we'll sort it out. Yeah? So it's very important that yeah? in A level maths, I like to, I've been doing this for many years. Yeah? So you need to get a grasp on the ideas, you need to get some practice, and like I said, uh, if you run into some trouble, just email me and I'll come back to you. So done. What else do I have on 9709? On our website, we also have past year solutions yeah? for P3, the Pure Max Paper 3, and the Mechanics M1, okay, which is Paper 4. So I have worked out solutions to all the questions from 2002 to 2013, and I find that uh, it is extremely helpful. Uh, a lot of people have found my solutions quite helpful, especially when they are revising for tests for quizzes for exams and so on so uh, you may want to get access to this as well okay great so remember just to uh, summarize uh, make sure that uh, you have all the notes beside you as you study uh, have uh, follow the video lectures very carefully if you have a question get in touch with me you'll iron it out and you'll do fine remember we want to get an A okay okay Hundreds of people have gone through me and have obtained things. So we want to get that name. Okay? So be, be positive. Yeah? Be positive. Yeah? Remember that uh, you are with a person who is extremely interested in mathematics and you'll be fine. Okay? Next, let's talk about further maths. Further maths, this is also the Cambridge exam, CIE. The subject code is 9231. Okay? Further maths. Now, further maths, you must be careful here, yeah? We have got two papers. Paper 1 is all of your maths. And paper 2 uh, has got both mechanics and statistics. Now, before saying anything here, okay? This pure maths, mechanics and statistics that you will find in further maths, there is an assumption, okay, that you know quite a bit of the stuff in your maths courses like P1, P3, M1, M2, S1, and S2. So, again, okay, when you deal with uh, further maths, there's an assumption, like your syllabus clearly says to you, that they would assume that uh, you know your maths courses. Okay? To so repeat, like P1, P3, S1, uh, S2, M1, and M2. So, if you are doing further maths and you run into trouble, go back to the maths 9709 website and get help from there. That will be the best way to get around this. Okay? So, that I must study before I go on any further. Okay? So, if you're writing some trouble with background material, it's called prerequisite material, go back to 9709, sort out the stuff, and come back to your further maths. Now, further maths is not that easy. Okay? It's not that easy. So, you have to spend a bit of time, you have to work hard. Now, what have I got on the website? We have complete notes and examples for the pure maths part. The pure maths has about uh, nine topics. Uh, we have complete notes and examples. Uh, I've uh, done it all, and we have uploaded the notes for the pure maths part. Yeah? It contains uh, notes that you need. The problem is, right? You, we, we are looking at a syllabus, uh, and it will be hard pressed to find a book that covers the syllabus uh, in its entirety. So uh, I have put together the notes uh, and the examples looking at the syllabus carefully so that uh, you are quite self-sufficient as far as the material is concerned. So what do we have on the website? We have uploaded complete notes and examples for the pure maths part. Okay? Now the videos will be coming. Okay? The videos will be coming. We are in the process of doing something about it. Okay, they're coming soon. The videos for the pure maths. Okay, so as you can see, the further maths uh, uh, part uh, it's uh, being constructed, and uh, you will see the uh, development as we go along. Coming soon will be the mechanics and the statistics portion for the further maths. 
even the mechanics and the statistics will be in similar format. It will be notes and complete examples and uh, the videos will follow soon after.